actually what the water line did was it came down Pohoiki Road, cut across uh, some private land, and I'm not sure the history behind that, came down and hit 137 on the Kapoho side of Isaac Hale. Yeah, so pretty much all of that was lost. Gone. Gone. Yeah. Um, and that, you know, that that's a, a great point because as you see, some of them... Um, our thought processes uh, for some of our proposed projects for the 428 funding. As we know, the 428 funding is an alternate procedures process with FEMA. A little bit different from their, for, their former, I think they called it public assistance type projects. And the distinction is, is that the, the public assistance project goes to replace that infrastructure direct, directly where it was, versus the 428 gives you flexibility that if it doesn't make sense to put that infrastructure back in there, you can look at alternate projects. Correct. Correct. And so it allows us uh, an opportunity to, I guess, re reset. Yeah. Right? And um, so that's uh, one of the main things that we wanted to accomplish when we came up with our list of projects um, to utilize this FEMA funding. And what we wanted to do was be in line with the recovery plans. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe some of, you know, some of the objectives for the recovery plans were, of course, resilience and economic uh, Redevelopment, sure. right? And so, that's the thought processes that we we use to come up with some of the projects, along with um, some major considerations that we had to incorporate into our decision making. Was uh, one was the results of the buyout program, correct? Uh, because it really would not be prudent for us to invest or reinvest in infrastructure if people were not going to go back there. And that's a good point, right? There was a lot of uh, uh, push in the community or, or wanting and understanding. And so with having the, the survey results that we got, it was indicating kind of like, hey, it looks like probably hitting 70% or so is looking at least at the buyout program mm -hmm. to come out. So it's kind of like, okay, let's pause, let's observe. We launched the buyout program and we're actually seeing closer to say 95 to 98% of the folks so far, wow. which is telling. Right, which right. Is now drives that decision of do you bring infrastructure, that type of infrastructure back down there where really it's mainly buyouts. And actually something that I learned from you is having a water line that isn't being used isn't a good thing. No, no. And for one, the obvious reason that it's, you know, why would you have infrastructure that's not being used, which Correct. is quite the obvious. But the other issue with us is uh, water quality. Yeah. If, if water's not being used, it gets stagnant. Mm -hmm. and basically renders it not potable. Mm -hmm. And the remedy to that is flush it. Mm. And flushing means basically you're throwing all that water. Wastewater, just, just, just let them go. Just dump it somewhere to, to flush the system to keep the water quality. And as we all know, that's really not the, the best way to utilize our resources. No. Um, you know, from an economic as well as a, um, a natural resource perspective. Absolutely. So in that process, you got, the, you got the, the, the data coming back, we got the buyout data coming back, the decision was made that we're not restoring water back down to Kapoho. Mm -hmm. um, so with that, there was a decision to look at uh, bringing water back down to Pohiki. Can you talk about that a little bit? Okay, sure. Yeah, uh, I think we all understand the importance of the boat ramp mm -hmm. for the overall community. And it's not just Lower Puna, right? I think that served as a, um, a shop almost like a supermarket yes. for the island and maybe beyond the island, yes. I'm guessing. So yes. um, we really understand the importance of, of that asset. And uh, so we, one of the main projects that we partnered with Public Works, mm -hmm. of course, is to restore the water line coming down Pohoiki Road, follow the proposed road alignment, of mm -hmm. course, that makes the most sense, mm -hmm. and hopefully get water back to the boat ramp as well as Isaac Holly Beach Park. You know, I don't want to personally thank you for that. It's a big deal. You know, I grew up down in that area and uh, just trying to bring life back down to Pohiki, as they call it, is a really big deal. And, and, and what I've seen is, you know, we're going through this process, there's uncertainties, we have, you know, cooling issues, alignment mm -hmm. issues, and through this, un, you know, like I say, uncertainty, is the ground going to be, you know, cool enough for it to work? And and just seeing the departments and the directors coming together to work collaboratively, to work out a mechanism that we believe will work, there's no guarantee, but believe that will work, I think is really amazing. 
and personally really proud from actually just like a community member seeing mm -hmm. that, not as a director even, but just seeing our community, our county work together hasn't always been like that. And I'm seeing this as really a, uh, a lot of secondary gains in certain ways of really knocking down these silos, working together and find out how do we make it work. So um, yeah, just it's really neat to see. So the water coming back down to Pohiki, you know, universe willing. Yeah, yeah, we got to get some of the stars to align. But yeah, <laughs> your point is is um, is is bigger than I think a lot of people realize. Uh, we all have our our priorities each department, um, and I've you know I've been here for a while. Uh, I've I've been through several administrations, and um, I, I think this is uh, very encouraging that there's so much um, focus on on trying to break down the silos and having everybody work together. Because ultimately, we're, we're all here to serve our community, yes. our customers and, and things like that. So, yes. um, and, and that's what we're trying to do with these decisions. Like, like you said, um, there's some hurdles Absolutely. With, with everything. Um, cooling for us is going to be the major one, but uh, you know, hopefully we can find a path forward. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, that's all tied to, again, recovery mm -hmm. and resiliency. And that, those are the two main points, I think, that we try to factor in, in coming up with the alternate projects mm -hmm. that we have. 